Hi, Scorpio. It's me. It's Julia with Scorpio Squad. How's my gang gang doing? The FBI of the Zodiac. For those of you that are returning, for those of you that are new, thank you so much for being here and allowing me to read for you. It's always such a pleasure. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, this is an exclusive Scorpio channel, so I feel like you'll fit right in. Um, make sure to turn on your notification bell, too, so that way you're notified when I upload new videos. And make sure to hit the like button so that way the video can get circulated on YouTube and other Scorpios can be aware of the channel and get their love message. Scorpio, if you're looking to get quick answers and you want a live tarot card reading from my live tarot card readers, you can call toll-free numbers for the USA, UK, Canada, and India. Make sure to use my name to get your reading discounted. And if it is your birthday month, Scorpio, remember you can just give your birth date or your zodiac sign and get $10 off your reading. That's my birthday gift to you. Also for Scorpio Squad official merch, everything that you need is listed down below. Just click on show more. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we've got. I saw the Ten of Pentacles wanting to pop out for you. And what does that mean? Uh, family, abundance, home life. Okay, in the middle of your read, we have the moon and we have the lovers. It's also soulmate energy, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces. So something around the new moon. Or something has not been illuminated for you yet. Card down, Scorpio. Card down, I'm going. <laughs> in the now, we see you feeling a little trapped. Yeah? Overanalyzing, overthinking a lot, Scorpio. Got it. And the uh, what's hidden from you is that there's the Eight of Cups walking away. Walking away from your past. In the recent past, we see the Hangman. So, we're seeing here that uh, there's been some stagnant energy here. In the near future, what do we have? Okay, the Ten of Pentacles came out again. So it wants to be known. That's your near that's in the near future. That's family, abundance, stability, home life. For you, the four of pentacles. Something that you've been holding on to. For your person, the Nine of Wands. They've got their defenses up. Not towards you, though. I feel you're, you're being... Someone wants to protect or is being protective here. In the Hopes and Fears, we see the Hierophant. And in the Outcome, we see the King of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy... Uh, we got a lot of pentacles here. We have Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, Scorpio, some Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. All right, so why is the hangman here? Love you, Scorpio. Why is the hangman here in the recent past? Yeah, there was a disappointment here. Um, a lot of regret. Somebody was just stagnant here. When it came to offering love, they had too many options. Could be this Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So why do we have the Eight of Pentacles in the now? I mean the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here in the now? The Scorpio. The Ten of Cups. So somebody feels like they can't move towards their happiness right now. Hold on. Card down. The sun. You see? Could be a Leo or somebody has strong Leo in their chart. Okay? But I feel somebody's prepared to do whatever it's going to take to make it happen. Okay? A little patience is needed, Scorpio. Or divine timing, right? We have the Wheel of Fortune here. So things moving in your favor. Okay? 
I feel with this Wheel of Fortune, Scorpio, you'll be able to drop whatever burdens you've been carrying here. Okay, we do have the Ace of Swords here. A truth, victory being spoken. We have the Two of Cups. So the person that you love and loves you. Okay. Somebody may be taking a trip or you're taking a trip towards somebody to rebuild a foundation with somebody or to work together with somebody. What's hidden from you is this Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Ace of Wands with the King of Wands. So somebody is walking away from their past to have a brand new beginning, but there's a decision they need to make. Okay, could be having to do with a location here. And we have a victory here. And we see somebody really planning this out. The world is here. It could be travel that's being planned out. There's going to be rapid communication coming towards you, Scorpio, about this new chapter. Um, I feel like you're just going to have to take whatever you can take and go. There could be a child involved here. I feel like you've got all the tools you need to make this happen. Scorpio. We may be at crossroads here, but judgment is here. And here is this King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. All right, so let's get all the cards here so far. And let's clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Why is it here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Scorpio? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? The Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. So somebody who's very attractive, very intuitive. She, she also can be very logical as well. Male or female, doesn't matter. <clears throat> okay, there is judgment here. And I've got three knights. I've got the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords here. So I feel there are three suitors here, Scorpio, towards you. One is an air sign, one is a water sign, and one is an earth sign. And they're all going to be competing for your love. I do see a brand new beginning. I feel, Scorpio, you're going to go with the person that can offer you the most. Here. And it feels like it's a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Alright, so let's see. Why is the Four of Pentacles here for you, Scorpio? The chariot, travel, forward movement, somebody's coming towards your way, could be an Aquarius, not necessarily, could be somebody who's in the spotlight, somebody who you're very attracted to, okay, we see the two of you working together, we see um, 
a cup of love being offered here. We also see somebody who may have a little bit of Leo in their chart. It could be a Leo, but there's victory here. There's victory here. Yeah. It looks like this uh, Nine of Pentacles, which could be a Virgo, could have Leo in their chart as well, or a fire in their chart. Um, I feel here it's an ending of pain here. And this Empress here is ready for a new start. So why is the Nine of Wands here for Scorpio? We have the Sun again, and we have the Seven of Cups. So protecting their happiness. Okay, there's different ways to do this. Scorpio, you're right here. What is Scorpio's person? Why are they showing up as the Nine of Wands? The Seven of Swords. The Magician. A Judgment. Hmm. So I feel here, Scorpio, somebody may be a trickster here. This could be your energy. I feel this high priestess here feels left out in the cold. And she's waiting for her wish fulfillment. I feel it will happen. There will be a reunion here. Why is the Hierophant here? Why is the Hierophant here? Why is the Hierophant here? The Seven of Wands. Let me see what it's saying here. Okay. So we see here that there is some spiritual connection here or a lesson that needed to be learned, okay, about um, setting up boundaries, okay? Um, I do see you leaving the past behind. I do see that something is hidden here in regards to um, this love interest of yours that's at a distance. I feel this person is currently feeling, is doing a lot of overthinking. Trying to make a decision. But what I do see is that this Queen of Wands is being honest, is communicating and wants a victory and we see this queen of wands is dropping this burden okay and starting over with a brand new beginning as the knight of swords comes in for her with the knight of cups and the knight of pentacles i feel this empress is choosing the emperor whoever the emperor is there's communication coming in a tower moment comes in and it's about taking a leap of faith and making a decision okay in order to build a solid foundation and we go from the three to the ten so I feel marriage here So that's what I have for you. Oh, no, we have one more card. I have the King of Pentacles. Hold on. Okay, so it looks, again, these knights want to be known, Scorpio. So 
So you have a choice, you have a decision to make, but I feel you're going to pick your emperor. Whoever you feel your emperor is out of these three. So, here's the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. The Ten of Wands. So I feel like your person too is ready to just drop all the burden. And they are traveling towards you to make this offer. They want a reunion. That's the Three of Cups. They clearly have made up their mind here. They're going to come speak their truth to you. This emperor is coming towards you. I also feel there's like a father figure too that's involved in this to make this happen. Again, Scorpio, I'm going to say it. Maybe a father that passed away. Who is this emperor? Uh-huh. It's your person. Wow. The Ace of Wands. Capricorn energy. But I feel as a high priestess, you already know this is happening. But you're not going to allow anybody to hurt you again. Okay? We also have the King of Swords here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Somebody from your past who feels heartbroken over you and wants to fight for this connection. They're going to communicate to you as well about having a reconciliation and working on things and that they're prepared to leave their past behind and they're so sad without you. All right, Scorpio, you got a decision to make. You got three people after you. Just saying. That's not for all of you, but it's a message for someone. All right, I love you, Scorp. I'll see you again tomorrow. Love and kisses. Bye.